Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Scorpio, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Uh, Scorpio newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Scorpio, you'd know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Knight of Cups in Reverse. Either somebody is feeling rejected here now, Scorpio, by the other person or maybe one person feels the other person made promises they never kept or just ended up breaking their heart by not keeping their promises. I do see a little bit of depression here because they feel one person feels that uh, there is the love is lost or there's no love here. Uh, I have to heal my own broken heart now. Maybe I have to take charge of my life, stand up for myself or something. The other person, they feel that whatever happened in the past, maybe some lying, cheating behavior happened in the past. Somebody is feeling a little sheepish about that feeling that that person is maybe getting unstuck from them or some things are stuck in this connection now. They feel that the other person has strong boundaries up now and may not even want to reconcile with them. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Scorpio. Let's, uh, let's ask the universe first. Well, what's the underlying reason for this, uh, all this dynamic that's going on here, Spirit, in Scorpio's life? What's going on here? Why is all this happening in Scorpio's life? What am I doing the reading for? One more. That's too many. One by one, please. One And one more. All right. All right, Scorpio. Let's start the reading. The first card here says stability. Maybe stability was an issue in this connection. Somebody felt that life was their person was not offering stability or feeling and there's a lot of regret as well someone feels remorse for how they behaved there's regret regarding some kind of stability chemistry the feelings uh, both of you have for each other are mutual there is a strong bond that you guys feel towards each other but maybe the stability was shaken because of somebody's lying cheating behavior or something i don't know i'm going to start this reading with uh, some dialogue message cards first here scorpio let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then we'll clarify these scorpio and that person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be scorpio and that person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be? Scorpio and their person. All right. Let's take a few more Scorpio from another deck. Scorpio and their person spirit. Scorpio. Scorpio and their person. All right. And just a few more Scorpio from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Scorpio and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and their person. All right, good to go, Scorpio. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are look, looking for uh, personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I hid who I really am from you. I want to prove my love to you through actions. Let me pursue you. I need more time. I'm afraid of commitment. 
I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. I want to stay with you forever. I didn't want to run away. I just ignored you. I just ignored you to see if you would be upset for me, over me. I'm so sorry. I was busy. I ignored you. You are the reason I smile. I would be honored to have a family with you. I fell deeply in love with you. I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I said to you. I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. I have commitment issues. Secretly doing things behind your back. All right. So these were some of your messages, Scorpio. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. Uh, let's also take an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Scorpio gang with today. Uh, with a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Generosity begins at home with yourself. That's what the spiritual meaning of this card is, uh, Scorpio. First and foremost, be good to yourself. If you can't be good to yourself, you can't be good to anyone. It's like if you can't be happy, you cannot spread happiness. So today's job for you, Scorpio, is to be very kind and very generous to yourself and do something wonderful for yourself. All right, so now we start the reading. And uh, personally, let's start with you. And newcomers, these are two sides I have, okay? Don't fully remember. These are, this is person A, this is person B, two soul energies. If this is your reading, you'll know exactly which side you're on and who this other person is for you. And remember, these are not gender-based and I don't know which side you're on and nor do I want to know because I want to be fair to both sides, right? Um, this, of course, could be a love interest, spouse, ex maybe a family member or a sibling or even a best friend or something. Um, if this is your reading, like I said, you'll pick up. All right. So I'm going to focus first only on one side, Scorpio. Uh, after I'm done with person A completely, then we'll move to the other side. So right now, my focus is on you, person A, in your feelings, emotions. Uh, that is a four of swords in reverse. Why is that? Yeah, they feel they feel either they caught that person doing something or things just backfired. Uh, I think person A is, is trying to get come out of depression. They are tired of the confusion. They're tired of the depression. They want to come out of all this. It's like, yeah, you know what? I am going to now not be considered an option in anyone's life. I need to now choose myself. They feel that the, the love is lost in this connection. Ace of Cups is in reverse. Uh, they feel that their person is just playing mind games with them or being rude and mean to them or not being emotionally available to them or just, you know, the love is not there. It's just that they want to have control over them all the time. That's how person A is feeling. Uh, why do you feel uh, this way, person A? Tell me. Uh, person A says, because I've been hurt and I need to heal my broken heart. Yes, because I did not receive the love that I expected from the other person. Uh, Ace of Cups is in reverse again. So person A says, yeah, you know, I, I, re I realize that my person was just, they're just too immature. They're just creating drama all the time. I wasted so much time and energy and effort into this connection and they didn't even reciprocate my love. I need to heal my own broken heart now and I have to now pick myself up and, you know, follow my own passions and, you know, go after the things that I need to do for my own life and uh, pull back my energy because I, I feel I've been in a toxic environment and I don't want to deal with the devil anymore. I think person A is getting their confidence back. So, Queen of Wands, may I hand you the mic? Would you like to say something here? Queen of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Wands says, what, what, what do you want me to say, Omkara Taro? Right now, I'm very upset and very angry. Yes, I'm 
pulling myself up but that doesn't take away the fact that I'm so sick and tired of the conflict of things never changing and that I'm now coming to a point where I don't even know whether I want to give this other person a second chance. I've just been sad and depressed and crying and hurting but yes I am trying to now pull myself up for myself. So how do you feel about the connection now person A? How do you see person B and how do you feel about the connection? Person A says uh, seven of wands. They're trying to keep, I think, uh, I think they're trying to protect themselves because they feel that uh, none of their dreams and wishes came true in this connection. Three of pentacles, yeah, they are trying to establish their own independence. It's like, yes, I have to now stand up for myself. I have to be independent. I have to focus on my own work. Maybe collaborate with new people. Focus on doing things which are good for me. Uh, because And maybe move on towards new offers. Because they feel that the other person refuses to change. Right. So, what action person A will finally take, I will open later, Scorpio. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So, person B, uh, in your feelings and emotions, you have the seven of swords. What's that? What's the seven of swords? Yeah, person B feels that because of some lying, cheating behavior of the past, whether they did it or I don't know what, they feel that now this connection has bad memories attached to it now. They are maybe scared that the other person is making a decision, a final decision, not to work with them from now on. Right? So, they feel that person A is getting unstuck from their life. Hanged man in reverse. Yeah, hangman reverse, clarified by the hangman in reverse. I think they're feeling this way because they could be seeing that person A is a little withdrawn or taking back their energy or uh, cutting, uh, cutting this connection off or healing themselves or something. Why do you feel this way, person B? Tell me, you tell me. Ace of Wands in reverse. Why the Ace of Wands in reverse? They're not happy. Person B is not happy that uh, maybe some truths came out about them or they they are feeling the lack of motivation or they feel person A is not motivated to work things out with them. I think person B has done something which they know, which they are think sheepish about and they know they need to come forward and give some kind of an apology or something. Uh, they feel that uh, they're feeling very stuck. They feel nothing is moving. Uh, they're not sure whether person A will take an offer from them or not. What if they've already kind of cut away from this connection? They don't seem very focused on me. I, what person B really wants, I think, is for, to rush towards person A and ask them to stop. But um, yeah, person B, I think, does want to rush in and because they don't want to be left out in the cold. They, they, want to re they want person A to return back to them. They feel, I don't know, there was, some, there was some bad behavior here which I think created a tower between the two of you. And they know that, that, that they need to apologize for that. So tell me person B, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection? Queen of Swords, yeah, like I said, person B says, person A has become very strong. They are not uh, to be messed around with. They've got this big sword now. They're not even talking to me properly or talking at all to me. Uh, person B is not very sure that they can manifest this connection back and they feel that um, it's probably ja karma for them because of the way they behaved. Maybe they behaved like a trickster in the past, may have uh, had ego or maybe bad behavior or my way or the highway. It's almost like person B is scared that um, they are getting some bad karma for their bad behavior and that person A may not even want to reconcile with them now. Three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Yeah, things are going backwards instead of going forward. They feel that person A has made a strong decision to not come towards them or block them out. 
uh, and it has strong boundaries up and is maybe pushing them away or standing their ground and things are very stagnant between the two of you. So as much as I think uh, this Knight of Cups meant person A could be saying, yeah, they broke my heart, they made promises they never kept. Right now, person B could be feeling a bit rejected by person A as well, maybe energetically. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take then, uh, Scorpio. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And uh, now my turn. May I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. Thank you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we welcome you in. And uh, also don't forget to press that notification bell. That way then YouTube can notify you when new videos are released. All right. So person A, what's your action towards person B now or otherwise in your own life? Page of Swords. What's the Page of Swords? Are you watching them or did you find out something about them? Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Lovers. I think person A is kind of withdrawn right now. They could be wondering what what to do. They do st still feel a strong attachment to the other person. But they are kind of going back and forth in their mind whether they want to reconcile or not. It's like person A is kind of becoming stronger, I would say maybe a little withdrawn they are trying to clear their mind and figure things out maybe thinking long and hard about what to do meanwhile i think either they found out something about person b or they could still be watching person b to see what are they going to do now right anything else person a king of pentacles king of wands there is love here, but they are disappointed. Person A seems a little disappointed because they have really expected person B to step up or mm, take action or take responsibility. But I guess person A is just kind of right now in that phase. It's like, do not disturb. Do not disturb me. I'm thinking, I'm watching, I'm studying the scenario. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. So, person B, what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise? Star in reverse. They feel they're losing out on their biggest wish. They feel a bit hopeless right now. Feel a bit rejected, I think. Why the star card in reverse? Oh, they're, they're manifesting a second chance with person A. They are uh, kind of regretting. They're kind of feeling abandoned or feeling they're going to be left out in the cold or abandoned or left behind. I think this person is realizing that um, they want this happiness back. They want to work things out. They're scared. They're scared, thinking, stressing, overthinking, manifesting a second chance with person A. Feeling rejected. So... Well, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.